All right, everybody, C-Note here. Welcome to Dopamine. I'm here with my friend, Deb, who I met at Profiler Training here in Los Angeles with my friends at Personality Hacker. And she wants to basically introduce this idea of tapping to help with emotional support. So why don't you explain a little bit about what tapping is for us? Tapping is a way to work with your body's energy and difficult feelings or difficult experiences and clear it from your system. So okay. the premise is that you get stuck energy in your body, it's associated with a thought or a memory, and tapping on these meridian ending points can help move it out. So part of what we're gonna do is a little bit of a demonstration to sort of help me, especially as an INTP where you don't always have uh, the, the most easy access to our emotional experience and honesty about our most emotional experience. Um, and before we do that, do you wanna tell us a little bit about um, how you use this and uh, you know what you do and yeah. a bit of the application? Yeah, I've been using it for, since 2006, I think, um, working with people to heal from trauma to help integrate parts of their personality, to deal with parenting issues, work issues, change issues, pretty much anything. I tend not to enjoy physical issues, but it can totally be used for physical. I'm happier in the, as an ENFP, I'm happier in the emotional world. That's really what makes me <laughs> happy. Right, it's like, right. oh, I wanna go deal with those emotions, yeah. <laughs> right, right. And I work part-time as a coach with people. That's because I'm a full-time mom still, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my kid's almost out of the house, so. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay, very cool. So I think we can basically kind of just jump into it. So yes. what we could do is uh, I'm told that I have to take my glasses yes. off. Yes, yes. And uh, she's gonna guide me through this experience. So you guys are just gonna be watching and we're just gonna kind of be here. But, oh uh, no, I hope they tap along as well. Yeah, tap along. Yes, yes. If you've got something going on mm -hmm. and um, you know, learn about how to use this and you're basically, you're, is this like a daily life this thing? This can be a, I'm really stressed and freaked out and you yeah. don't use it to calm down. This can be used in the morning when you get up, before you get out of bed to mm -hmm. recenter. Right. This can be used, you're on the phone with somebody who's annoying you. Right. So daily, crisis, intervention, all levels. Yeah, driving, you can even do it driving. So awesome. it's really, it's a one-handed, pretty much a one-handed tool, so. Cool, well yeah. I'm gonna toss right. the ball to you. Yes, yay! Okay, <laughs> so basically there's um, a couple of steps to tapping. One is that you wanna name the issue you're working on, and you don't wanna go for too big. So if you imagine if it was a very big deal, you wanna break it down into like a movie scene and work literally on one frame at a time. And you're looking for the intense frames. So if you think about an action shot, there's always like one part that really gets you in the gut. That's what you want to tap on. Okay. So you name the issue, you rate the intensity, zero to 10, because sometimes we forget how bad it was and, and I tend to write it down. It helps guide you like, okay, I'm a 10 right now and you tap, oh, I'm an eight, so you're seeing progress. Mm -hmm. Name it, rate it, tap, and I'll, we'll do that in a second, okay. and then reassess. Right. So when we're tapping, we're literally tapping on parts of our body. And what we do, the first point we're gonna do is the side of the hand point. So you're just tapping like this. Okay. And should I name? Should I show you the points first before we go through them? Would that be better? Yeah, let's 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 show okay. uh, everyone a couple of what the points are. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first place we start. This is called the setup point. Okay. Yeah. The next point is the beginning of the eyebrow, and it can be on either side. Okay. If you're feeling ambitious, you can go for both sides. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, if you're driving, please don't do two hands yes, at one yes. time. Yeah. Eyebrows. The next point is the side of the eye, and it literally you follow the bone around, okay. and you're just right here on the side of the eye, so mm. not the temple, right. the bone. Oh, and you feel okay. that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the points are on bone, right. as you remember. Okay. Next point, under the eye. Guess what? It's on the bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right here, okay. under the eye, so. It's an interesting feeling, because it's not usually a place that you would touch on purpose. You normally don't, yeah. 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 And this one I tend to drift away sometimes, but yeah, you've got it right there, right. under the bone. Next point is under the nose. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Chin point is actually just below the bottom lip. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, this I, is I, good I really like that. I really this like is the good camera. Content. Yeah. Collarbone. Go to where you're not a tie. Okay. Go down and out. So you actually technically you're not on the collarbone, you're right underneath the collarbone. Okay. So you know that bony point? Yeah. It's diagonally out an inch. Okay. It can be approximate because you're on bone. Right. And you can feel that you can use more fingers here, this because of effect. Right. Yeah. This is a very energizing point. So if you're ever just tired and you want some energy, you can right. tap on these points. I'm feeling that already. Are you feeling? Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it good? Was, the body is a fun thing. The body is an awesome <laughs> thing. Next point is under the arm is along the bra line. Okay. Sorry. You're not it's gonna fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I know where they, it is. they say four inches down. I dealt with a bra or yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the arm okay. right here. You can reach across. Uh -huh. Or you can do chicken wing style. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll do chicken wing style. I kinda of cramped a little bit. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then top of the head. Okay. Now there's an anger point. Is anger something that comes up for you or Um it's it's more of a repression point for me. I'm okay. not angry as much as I 
probably would like to be. <laughs> okay, okay. So I want to include the angle point. It's along, it's um, along the breast, the crease of the breast, okay. right in line with the nipple. So right, right through, yeah. Right. And for some people, it's so like for me, it's always sore. Right. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I really need the angle point. Right, right. I don't do it because it's a little bit socially awkward. Right, right. right there, you got it. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Awesome. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm blushing now. All right, even though I'm blushing, yeah. <laughs> And then, so those are the physical points, and we're going to be moving through them. Okay. The structure of the language is very simple. So on the side of the hand point, you have something along the lines, even though I have this issue. Even and though you, I have this issue? You name the issue. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't like that second part of the phrase, so I will switch it up with you. Okay. Yeah. And then when you go through the points, you don't use the whole phrase. Right. The whole sentence, you just use the short phrase, whatever the issue is. Okay. So working with me, I'm gonna change the language around a little bit. Sure. You can keep the language very, very simple and straightforward. Okay. Okay. So we need to work on something real. And yeah. you had something that we could work on? Yeah, I, I've, I've got some frustrations around, um, I don't know if frustration is the right word, but it's, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't met my son. He's only, he's nearly two years old. Uh, okay, I went so through. I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as you said, I haven't met my son, mm -hmm. this intensity spiked in me. Yeah. So with tapping, you don't want to tell too much of the story. Okay. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, that's perfect. But we need to tap on the very first thing you said. Okay. I haven't met my son. Mm -hmm. What's the intensity zero to 10 when you say that out loud? Seven, eight. Seven, eight, yeah. Anything above a five, you want to get German and tap yeah. right away. Mm -hmm. So did you feel the intensity when you said that? Yeah. A lot of people who've had trauma or who go through the world rushing and suppressing things, yeah. they don't even notice how much trauma is in every sentence of their story. Right. So one of the things with tapping is you start to slow things down. Yeah. And like, oh, it's going to feel so good. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Um, even though I haven't met my son. Even though I haven't met my son. Yeah, and tap along and say the same words. It doesn't matter. It's not your issue. Saying the words out loud is, is helpful. Yeah. So, um, and I feel. And I feel. Fill in the blank. Guilty. Guilty. Yeah, even though I haven't met my son and I feel guilty. Even though I haven't met my son and I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. I'm open to the idea of accepting myself. I'm open to the idea of accepting myself. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, and we're going to go three times. Even though I haven't met my son yet. Even though I haven't met my son yet. Yeah. And I feel guilty. And I feel guilty. But I, I'm open to the idea that I love him. But I'm open to the idea that I love him. Even though I haven't met him yet. Even though I haven't met him yet. Is that true? Yes. You love him though you haven't met him. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Even though I haven't met my son. Even though I haven't met my son. And I feel guilty. And I feel guilty. Maybe angry? Maybe angry. Yeah. Things start to creep in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm open to the idea that I'm okay. I'm open to the idea that I'm okay. Yeah. Hmm. On the eyebrow points, I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. Side of the eye, I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. <sighs> Under the eye, I feel guilty. I feel guilty. Yeah. Under the nose, I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. Chin point, and it's been... And it's been uh, nearly two years. Two, oh, whoops, sorry, <laughs> I'm reacting. <laughs> two years, okay, uh -huh. collarbone. I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. Under the arm, and it's been two years. And it's been two years. Yeah, top of the head, I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. Okay, stop there, yeah. gentle breath. So just focusing on I haven't met my son. The intensity was a seven, I think you said. What happened, up, down, or the same? Down. Yeah. To what? About a five. Nice. Yeah, about a five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, keep tapping. You want to get it down close to a zero. Okay. Now the trouble with tapping, especially for somebody like me, mm -hmm. is I start to add a new aspects okay. of the story too quickly. Yeah. And I'm going to do this because that's who I am. Sure. Um, and you notice sometimes that you want to start to add in the new aspects. Right. Yeah. So, all right, even though I haven't met my son. Even though I haven't met my son. And it's been two years. And it's been two years. And whose fault is it? No one's. No one's fault. Okay, does it, there's no blame that you feel? I don't blame. I don't feel blame. There's no blame. Okay. No. So what's blocking you? For, I don't know the details, obviously. Yeah. Um, is there an obstacle to meeting your son? Finances. Fi oh. Finances and um, fear of going to where I used to live. 
Ooh. being in there, in being in that house again, or being near that house again. That's okay. So I have an internal um, radar detector, uh -huh. and that second piece just spiked through the roof. Yeah. Do you feel it in yourself yes. as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, we're just gonna go for the big and messy right now. Okay. Sure. Even though I haven't met my son. Even though I haven't met my son. And he's two years old. And he's two years old. But finances. But finances. And that household. And that household. Is that the right word? Household. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are stopping me. Are stopping me. <sighs> and I'm sort of torn. And I'm sort of torn. Or I'm a lot torn. I'm very torn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm open to the idea that I'm okay. I'm open to the idea that I'm okay. Yeah. Is that okay to say? You yeah, feel okay? I feel okay. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm stressed. Even though I'm stressed. And upset. And upset. And not happy. And not happy. And guilty. And guilty. Or, or guilty or feeling guilty. There's a difference. <laughs> feeling guilty. Feeling good, good, good. Yes. Feeling guilty. And I want to meet my son. And I want to meet my son. True. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm open to the idea that it's possible. I'm open to the idea that it's possible. Yeah, on the points, beginning of the eyes. <sighs> finances are an obstacle. Finances are an obstacle. Yeah, so yeah, I don't have the finances. I don't have the finances. Okay. I don't have the money. I don't have money. Yeah, I need money to get there. I need money to get there. Yeah, Jim point, I need money to get there. Coll uh, collarbone, yeah. And I'm worried about going back. And I'm worried about going back. That's what you said, right? Yes, yeah. that's, that's the perfect wording. Yeah. Under the arm, I'm worried about going back. I'm worried about going back. Top of the head, I'm really worried about going I'm back. I'm really worried about going back. Yeah. Where do you feel in your body, the worry? The worry? Yeah. <sighs> that's difficult. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, do, you, where do, you, do you feel it outside of your body? No, there is a tension. Where? Perhaps my shoulders. Shoulders, okay. Does it make you want to hunch up? Yeah. Okay, so worry in the shoulders, okay. Back to the call, uh, back to the side of the hand. Even though I have this worry in my shoulders. Even though I have this worry on my shoulders. And it's keeping me safe. And it's keeping me safe. True? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but I want to see my son. But I want to see my son. Yeah. I'm open to the idea that I can figure this out. I'm open to the idea that I could figure yeah. this out. Is that, does that feel doable? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I have this tension in my shoulders. Even though I have this tension in my shoulders. This worry in my shoulders. This worry in my shoulders. Yeah. But I know what I want. But I know what I want. wonder if I can get there. I wonder if I can get there. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eyebrows. Um, I haven't seen my son. I haven't seen no, my son. I haven't met my son. I haven't met my son. I made a bit son. <laughs> I made a son. Yeah. Yes. I made a son. I made a yeah, son. Yeah. I made a son. Yep. Oh, and I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Yeah, move on. I didn't tell you the point, sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 we were on the side of the no, eye, under still, the eye. I was tracking. <laughs> yeah, um, under the eye. Uh -huh. hmm, feeling a little bit guilty. I'm feeling a little bit guilty. Under the nose. Seeing the obstacles. Seeing the obstacles. <sighs> Shim point. I wonder if the money can show up. <laughs> I wonder if the money can show up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that household, though. I don't know about that household. Yeah, yeah. that's the obstacle. Yes. That's the obstacle. Under the arm. <sighs> Nice. So gentle breath. So going out of the content into the process a second, do you notice um, at any of the points that the energy shifts? Yeah. Are there any points that stand out for you? Uh, under the arm. Really? Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and the collarbone. Nice. Everybody will find they have a favorite point. Yeah, the and collarbone can... is probably my favorite point. Yeah. And you can just go to that, like, yeah. um, the way tapping was developed, it was really interesting. A man came up, the story's fascinating, I'll tell you another sure. time, but he came up with a protocol of like, well, you tap here and here if it's anxiety and you do a different order if it's another, he was a psychologist. Right. And then along came this engineer and he goes, hey, why don't we just use all the points? Right. Because it only takes a minute. Right. So you don't even have to decide the order because the order doesn't matter. Right. And he tested it so he came up with a better approach. That right. was Gary Craig. Right. Who's still alive, by the way. Okay. Yes. Cool. Still alive. Good Invented for, this in the 80s. Good yeah. for everyone to know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So the intensity around, um, I haven't seen my son when we started, you said it felt like a seven or I think yeah. seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. Where is it now? A one or a two. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That's yeah. pretty amazing to, to feel a release in tension. I feel like there's still a little bit in my shoulders back here, but that might just be physical. <laughs> well, hey, you know, I like to get down to a zero. Some people don't think they can get to a zero. Okay. But they that little they want to hold onto one. But let's just do one more round. Sure. The way you said that. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do that. Even though I. It's a good way to illustrate that there's 
it's a process. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, even though I still have some tension in my shoulders. Even though I still have some tension in my shoulders. And it might be physical. And it might be physical. It might be uh, metaphorical. It might be metaphorical. Yeah, I have a son. <laughs> I have a son. I have the weight of a son. I have the weight of a son. Who I haven't seen. Who I haven't seen. Yeah. Oh, I just want to hold that boy. I want to hold that boy. Yeah. Mm. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. I, I deeply... Oh, say that one more. I deeply and completely... I deeply and completely accept, accept myself, myself anyway. Anyway, yeah. Can you say that and mean it? Uh, yeah, I yeah. deeply and completely, completely accept, accept myself. myself. Yeah, anyway. some people can't say that. Yeah. So you go for something like, I'm open to accepting myself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do deeply yeah. and completely accept myself. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's I a, do. That's a good thing to say. Yeah. This tension in my shoulders. On this tension side. in my shoulders. This yeah, side of the eye, this tension in my shoulders. This tension in my shoulders. <sighs> I think my side of the eye points are the ones that get me. I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm relaxing. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. under the eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this shoulder tension. This shoulder tension. Under the nose, the weight of the world. The weight of the world. Chin point, the weight of my son. The weight of my son. Yeah. Collarbone. This tension. This tension. Mm -hmm. Under the arm, this tension. This tension. Mm -hmm. Top of the head. This tension. And then a nice gentle breath. So you haven't seen your son? I haven't seen my son. Oh, do you see how you're even saying it differently? Yeah. There's now like this um, desire or warmth. And what is fascinating about tapping, it's so exciting that when you, when you tap, inevitably people get more wisdom, compassion shows up. It's like when you clear out the crap, we mm. get better. Right. So that and we're, we're, we have this moral, or not moral, but we have this north pole that we are oriented towards. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, um, it's always like a positive direction when you clear out the junk. I feel exponentially relaxed. Mm. Nice. Like there's, I can't really properly describe it so much as when we did the last bit of tapping on the head, it felt like an energy that just mm. kind of let go. It's yeah. like a veil that drops. Nice. Everything just kind of let go. I let go of the tension. Yeah. I, I it's like not there. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then what was this, like five minutes, right. seven this was minutes? Not, this was not yeah. much. Yeah. But it was something, this has been something pretty pervasive for me. And uh, it's just nice to know that if that feeling Mm -hmm. arises, mm -hmm. especially the language. The language mm -hmm. is so important to mm -hmm. sort of guide yourself yes. through, uh, to lead to this place of, of, of accepting yourself. Yeah. That's really what feels like the goal is. Yes. Um, that's empowering and amazing, and I love that we can share this with people. Yes. And I look forward to getting questions so we can come back and do round two and answer some questions for people. Yes, that would be amazing. If you guys have questions about this experience, about my experience, about what Deb does, uh, we'll certainly leave a link. Yes, if great. If you have a link yes, to a absolutely. website or something. Oh, yeah. Or if you want to say it, if you want to say where you are, oh, what you do. Um, my website's DebraDondelinger.com, but that's too hard to spell. So you can also go to EFT with Debra, all one word, and Debra is spelled the long way, .com. And yeah, put a link in because I was like, I can't yeah, do it right. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that. That'll <laughs> be great. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and joining me on Dopamine. If you want to, links below for dopamine.life, the podcast. Uh, there's the free Myers-Briggs course in there and all sorts of fun stuff. Just the description, read the thing, goodies and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Deb, for oh. showing me and being here. I am so I excited. didn't get to experience the tapping while you guys were doing it because yes. I was filming. Yes. So being able to experience this, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if believer is the right word. That's not the right word, but I'm a truster. I trust this process and I trust Deborah. So oh. thank you guys. Thank you, Deb. Thank you. Bye guys.